Hey everyone, it's Pleb today I'll be showing you the best method to make slashes in After Effects. I have a little bit of a cold, so sorry in advance if I sound a little bit different than what I did when I made the water tutorial. I know there are a lot of different styles and methods you can use to make them, but after trying a bunch, I believe this method is the very best. First, create a new composition. Feel free to copy my settings. For this tutorial, we'll be making a 4x4 16 frame flipbook. We'll start off by creating a new solid. You will then use the pen tool to mask out a triangle shape. The bases for all slashes are kind of built off this shape, but feel free to create any shapes you want. You will get amazing results. We will now be creating the animation for the slash. Enable keyframes for the mask path, set a keyframe at 4 frames. This frame set at 4 is going to be the slash's biggest point, so feel free to change the position for how you place it for different results. Now set a keyframe on the first frame, shrink and drag the mask all the way to the left. This will be the starting point. Now similarly do the same thing but drag it to the right of your composition. Okay, now pre-compose and add polar chords. Set the type to rectangle to polar and change the interpolation to 100%. Look how awesome the slash is looking. This is essentially the base for all slashes. You can now go back on the original solid and add different effects to get completely different looks. For the sake of this video, I'll do a simple design, but feel free to experiment. The possibilities are endless. Okay, we will now be adding roughened edges. You can see a bit of mask clipping, so simply increase the feather to fix. Change the settings to whatever you may like. I'm going to go with these settings for the sake of the video. The great tip is to add an adjustment layer with linear wipe. This is going to let us control the crop of the shape more. We are now going to create a simple backing black layer to give more depth and detail to the overall slash. Again, mess with the settings to get your own results, but feel free to just follow my own. You can see cropping at the bottom is going to give our slash a much smoother finish, which is typical in most stylized VFX. You can add a tint to change the color of the slash to whatever you want. Awesome! So this is basically it. You can now go ahead and create different glows and effects to get different results. Create more layers with different styles of masks to get insane results. This is just a basic tutorial. If you want a more advanced slash tutorial, let me know. This slash can work on meshes, but just make sure to bring the shape to the bottom of the composition, or else the slash mesh will look weird. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like, please let me know what else you want to see.